Hi everybody, happy Friday. I was with a group of students today for chapel and shared this verse. It was such a great reminder for me and I wanted to share it for you on this day. From Psalm 46, we read these words. In fact, just say them with me. God is our refuge and strength. God is our refuge and strength. No, I mean it. Say it out loud. It's such a good reminder. It's such a great truth for us. In fact, the psalmist goes on to say that even if the earth quakes and rattles beneath our feet, we don't need to be afraid. If the mountains suddenly that we depend on and use for visual cues and stability are suddenly crumbling and falling into the sea, we don't need to be afraid. If the mountains tremble, if the oceans roar and surge, we don't need to be afraid. Why? Because God is our refuge and strength. Think about all the things that we are seeing rattle and shake and tremble around us right now. We don't need to be afraid because God is our refuge and strength. Let's remind ourselves and each other of that true refuge and strength we have. In fact, I asked the kids, what is refuge? What does that mean? And one little boy said right away, home. I love that. You know, God made a home for us, no matter where we are, no matter even in the midst of trouble, God makes a refuge, a home for us. He did that, of course, so beautifully through Jesus. He made a refuge even in the midst of our sin, as he gives us the forgiveness of our sin. I then asked, well, what about strength? What does strength mean? And one little girl began to tell me this very long story about how uh, her mother had packed all of these blankets into a uh, basket, and it was too heavy for her. And she needed strength in order to lift it. So beautiful. From the mouths of babes, right? How many of us are trying to lift something that's just too heavy for us? But you know, the Bible says that God is our strength. In fact, the Bible goes on to say that when we are weak, then we are actually strong. So remember today, remember this weekend, God is, he really is, our refuge and our strength. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for being our refuge and strength. The love and care that you give to us on a daily basis. You provide for all of our needs. You promise you will never leave us. You will never abandon us. And even though there are storms that go on in our lives and in this world, you will be right there for us and you will provide a place of refuge and strength for us through it. You did that most gloriously through your son, Jesus who gave to us an opportunity to find peace and safety and rest. And we thank you, Jesus, for what you did for us, for the forgiveness of sins you give to us. And so once again, God, this weekend, just place our faith firmly onto the rock, which is Jesus, and let us walk forward with hope and joy, even though the earth may quake, the mountains may tremble, the oceans may roar. We will be reminded and we will know and we will say, you, O oh God, are our refuge and strength. Amen.